Tell me some things about what you think people can do today to take advantage of their awareness and, and advantage of what they have inside to bring out the best from within. I think the very first thing is to realize they have choice. I think that's where free will comes in. We have an easier ride through life when we say yes to the opportunities, to the intuitions, to the inspirations, to what appear to be uncanny synchronicities, but we can also say no to those. We're allowed to say no. We can receive an idea for a business, a product, a book, whatever it happens to be, and we can say, no thanks, I don't really feel like doing it. That's our choice. But what I've learned from my personal experience is when we don't follow the yes thread, we end up having more of a rocky road through life. We end up being unhappy. We end up being in struggle. We end up being unhealthy very often because we played the, the comfort card and we're staying over there on the safe side of the street. And I think the juice of life, the thrill of life, the success of life, the winning, if you will, of life comes from saying yes. Now saying yes doesn't mean necessarily that everything's just gotta open up and you're gonna slide to home base. It's not gonna be like that. I know that even though I said yes to what I felt was a divine calling for me to be an author and to write books that would make a difference, that would help people. It was not an overnight success. We're talking about decades, decades of fine tuning my skills and being persistent in writing virtually every day and persistent in sending out back before the internet, manila envelopes to publishers and waiting weeks to months to get my rejection letter, then going through the devastating experience of rebuilding my self esteem so I can send the same manuscript out again. But I, I said, yes. And because I said yes, eventually there was the first home run. You know, the first publication for me was 1984. The next one wasn't for another 10 years, but I was trying and I was saying yes, and I was doing it. I think the first thing for people to realize is that their life will be easier and juicier, more gusto to it when they say yes to the things that they want to do anyway. There's things inside of them gnawing at them, knocking at them, teasing them. They're thinking about writing a song. They're thinking about being a painter. They're thinking about opening up a cupcake bakery of some sort. Whatever it is for each individual person, there is something there. Most of us deny it, we suppress it, we rationalize not doing it. But I have found that this is where it all begins by saying yes to it. The next thing would be to state an intention. So I would say the very first thing is to pay attention to what is coming up within you, which I think is your spiritual calling, and say yes to it. And then the second thing is to state an intention that I am going to do this. Because intentions align your body and mind and all of your energies and even send a signal to the universe that this is where I want to go. And your brain takes it on as a target and pretty much everything else not related to it falls away and you end up being pinpointed. You have a rifle shot to go for whatever the thing is that you said yes. So I would begin by saying, say yes to what's bubbling up and then state an intention that you're gonna do it. And I guess the third thing I would say, and I'm ad-libbing all of this, is frickin' take action.